And what we're saying here is the basic New Testament storyline is confirmed by non-Christian sources. Who are the non-Christian sources? We've seen some of them. There are 10 ancient non-Christian sources within 150 years of Jesus' life. Some of them are historians like Josephus, Tacitus, Suetonius, Thallus, Phlegon. We just mentioned the first three. Also, government officials like Pliny the Younger, Emperor Trajan, Emperor Hadrian, they mentioned something about Jesus. And other sources, including the Jewish Talmud and the Greek writer Lucian. And when you combine these sources or these references, they're very brief references. You saw the reference to John the Baptist and Josephus. They're very brief references. When you combine all these references together, here is the story that you can construct about Jesus. Jesus lived during the time of Tiberius Caesar. Again, this is all from non-Christian sources, okay? He lived a virtuous life. He, had, he was a wonder worker. He had a brother named James. He was acclaimed to be the Messiah. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. An eclipse and an earthquake occurred when he died. Uh, he was crucified on the eve of the Passover. His disciples believed he rose from the dead. His disciples were willing to die for their belief. Christianity spread rapidly as far as Rome, and his disciples denied the Roman gods and worshiped Jesus as God. Now, does anyone notice anything about this list of facts here? This is what the New Testament says, right? It's the same story, but this is from non-Christian sources. Now, notice these non-Christian sources don't say they believe Jesus rose from the dead. Otherwise, they'd be Christians. But these non-Christian sources are saying his disciples believed he rose from the dead. And his disciples were willing to die for their belief. And Christianity spread rapidly as far as Rome. This is, this is pretty good stuff, isn't it? The conclusion to all this is that fictions and forgeries aren't like this, but actual history is like this. There's no way to invent all this stuff. I mean, how can you get, especially when you think about the external writers, how do you get Josephus, Tacitus, Suetonius, and all these guys to verify what you've said when they're writing in another time period, 40, 50 years later? They don't, you know, they're, they're, they're not there to verify what you're saying. But these incidental interlocking puzzle pieces are showing you that this is eyewitness testimony.